everyone uh, i am dr anand uh, today i am going to explain you about uh, lumbar canal stenosis which is very common disease in our population let me explain you uh, what is lumbar canal stenosis then i will uh, let you know about the treatment options available for this so let's uh, decode the word first lumbar canal stenosis now you can know uh, it's uh, consist of three words lumbar canal and stenosis so lumbar means lower back and lumbar canal uh, means there is a tunnel uh, you can say there is a tunnel inside the uh, bony skeleton of a spine which is known as lumbar canal and stenosis means it gets narrowed the space which is actually available for the nerves to go through becomes narrower so space available for the nerves becomes narrower so this is called lumbar canal stenosis so why it happens uh, let me explain about this thing so our spinal canal or lumbar canal specifically it is made up of bone and small joints and ligaments also so when a person becomes older because of wear and tear changes and degenerative changes uh, for the small joints and ligaments so what happens if your uh, spinal canal becomes narrow let me explain you when the spinal canal becomes narrow the nerves and all the neuronal elements get compressed and they cannot function properly so what happens to patient they develop certain symptoms like numbness over foot and pain in the calf muscles buttocks pain like radiating sciatica type of pain and all this pain this type this kind of pain aggravates on walking and uh, patient may be all right while sitting and uh, when they start walking after few steps or few miles like uh, all the symptoms they get start uh, get relieved by stooping forward like one day stoop forward or sit down all the uh, symptoms disappear because when you sit down or stoop forward the spinal canal becomes wider compared to when you are standing right then these are all sensory symptoms which is very common in a late stage motor symptoms like weakness may start but this uh, symptom starts later on in severe cases like uh, weakness in the foot uh, patient may not able to uh, walk properly because of the weakness and uh, is not able to wear foot air properly because of the weakness of the foot later on uh, bowel bladder disturbances also may happen because of the compression bowel bladder in the sense frequency of urination patient may urinate uh, frequently like every 10 minutes 30 minutes like that or maybe retention of uh, urine they have uh, reduced sensation of uh, urination certain symptoms like perianal numbness may develop and certain symptoms like a constipation and this thing may happen but these are at later stage but this thing uh, you need to know because these are all symptoms of lumbar canal stenosis then come to our part what we do surgically so before surgery i can say all lumbar canal stenosis doesn't need surgery surgery is required only in severe cases when the compression is very high and all the patient is very much symptomatic if he or she is not able to walk after 200 meter 500 meter or he or she is not able to stand for more than 5 minutes like that then only we operate and now what we are doing we do the reverse thing so in stenosis the canals become narrow that's why patient develops symptoms that's the pathology in simple way what we do we just make it little bit wide we take out all the disease part all the pathology part which is compressing the uh, nerve root we uh, remove all this thing so that the canals become little bit wide and all this um, uh, symptoms goes away and patient becomes happy let me explain you how we do it so there are many methods of treatment for this traditionally open surgery they open it and destroy everything and then um, the canal becomes wide this is one treatment and more modern treatment is minimally invasive technique we don't destroy everything we go inside and from inside we just take it out all the diseased tissue and curate and just uh, clean all around because of this minimally invasive method the bleeding and uh, collateral damage is very less and we do exactly the same thing which happens in open surgery so this is the modern method of treatment it needs less stay for patient patient stay for one day two day and get complete relief of pain and then go to home